So I haven't been back to the boat since I took the um, laminated um, plexiglass off the back of the transom. Um, there's still pieces of wood at the bottom. I haven't had a chance to get in there and start digging. My goal tonight is to try and get all of that, that wood out of the bottom. Um, my dad was nice enough to bring me his um, chisel set so that I have some decent chisels to get in there uh, and try and scrape out um, all the wood. So I'd like to clean out all the wood. Um, I, I doubt that I'll get to a point where I'm grinding or I'm, or I'm getting that, that last veneer, that last lamination uh, where the wood um, actually made a chemical bond with the epoxy. I don't think I'll get to that tonight, but the goal is to get the rest of the wood out um, so that we can really assess what needs to be done going forward. So we're going to get at that. I got two lessons for you on this one already. I've been at it for 10 minutes. First lesson, wear your damn gloves. Uh, of all the things, just a little splinter, but wear the gloves. So I'm fighting with this thing. I'm wondering why this last piece of wood won't come out. I don't know if you can see down in there. There is a screw. So the second lesson is check the inside of the boat. This is a screw coming from the interior of the boat, at the, uh, the back side of the bilge area through the transom and gee you wonder why is that the last piece of wood I could get out well uh, because it's fastened in place so off we go to get that piece of wood out and uh, sorry that, that screw out and then we can get the wood out So I've got the um, outside skin all cleaned up after I went up the, the other side, but I'll, I'll show you that first. So it's all been sanded, sitting on the on the rack with the boat there. But all been sanded down, it looks really good. I didn't have the camera adjust to the light. But the, uh, the stuff that you see that's brown in this area and so on the other side, it's just discoloration on the fiberglass, but the fiber, fiberglass itself is bare, no wood on it, so I'll give it a clean, obviously before we do the sea cast um, standard acetone washi type deal and then sure enough those two screws that I showed you from the inside of the boat they were holding that piece of wood in really, really well fantastic, so now that's gone you can see that everything in here in this cavity is now empty. It's actually good. It's going to get a good dry out hopefully. Hopefully we don't have any more rain. Right now our skies are pretty clear. It's uh, past sunset here so we're in dusk. Um, that's why it's not so bright. But that all in that area all cleaned out. Um, this has not been sanded yet though. So um, I think that if you have as much solid wood in your transom as I did in that center area, All right? So, pretty much everything I can bloop, surround it in that area was solid from about here to about there, and that made it difficult. The screws also made it difficult, but that's secondary, perhaps not. Anyways, glad to be at this point. Um, watch out for these kinds of sharp edges when you, when you do your cutting. That is fiberglass. It's almost as sharp as glass. We got a couple of, you know, gouges in the skin because of those, so be careful of those.
other than that, I think we're ready to go. We got the, the stringers. I'm going to do the calculation on the stringers. They're um, only a couple of inches high. I'd say that those are... The center one is probably five inches high, six inches high. It may be a two by six, I'm not sure. And the other ones are likely three inches. Um, the center one looks really good, but the back, um, after having access to the rear of the boat, the back of the two side stringers does look a little soft. So um, these ones here I was able to get into, you, they're pretty solid at, the, at this end, but at the back end, um, I'm going to get my drill in there and see how soft it is. And perhaps we will replace the two side stringers. Because when you're here, you might as well do it. You're not going to open this back up again. All right, that's all for tonight. And um, we'll see where we get this week. I likely will sand the back of this out. I likely will do the stringer test. Um, but after that, we start assembling. We start putting things back together. We start fixing. Um... And I'm not sure when I'll be able to start that. So, we're going to get right up to the end here of the destruction and tearing apart. Um, and then we'll likely put a plan together and then I'll share the plan on how we're going to attack. It's funny how those plans of, of how you're going to, you know, even take apart the boat. Plans were great at the beginning but they certainly weren't the same as at the end. So, all right, well, thanks very much for watching. Please subscribe, and we'll talk to you soon.